What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've uh, been kind of looking for me a trailer to haul my tractor on in case I need to transport it somewhere and do some work elsewhere or whatever uh, the case may be. And uh, anyway, I finally run across something and of course it's a broken trailer. As you know, uh, I like to buy broken stuff evidently. Uh, it just kind of finds me. So uh, I'll take you out here and uh, we'll take a look at it and I'll show you what, uh, what's wrong with it and all that good stuff. All right guys, so here she is. As you can see, got a gooseneck there. Uh, the first thing is, that's wrong with it, is this right here, the tires rub, or were rubbing this plate right here. And so the previous owner had somebody raise this up so it didn't rub. I don't like that at all. Uh, it looks a little bit hackish, uh, even my, for my standards. Uh, so I'm gonna fix that, I'm not sure what the issue is, uh, if the springs are weak on it, or exactly what the situation is. I'm not checking into that, but there's another way that, to fix it than, than that right there. It, uh, that's not gonna be left like that. Um, so anyway, this trailer is a 24 foot flat deck from the back of the neck to here, and then a five foot dovetail, so that makes it 29. I'm not, I guess it's considered a 29. I don't know if it's really a 30 or, or how they, uh, how they do it that's kind of a weird size on this here um, it is it is a performance trailer by Parker the uh, the flooring and stuff is not that bad it's actually decent uh, this trailer is I think a 2007 model so it's not too bad. Uh, it doesn't have any lights on this side over here. I don't know if any of them actually work, but uh, they actually run the thing until the wheels ran off, literally, as you can see there. And uh, I have the, uh, the hub assembly up here. I'm not sure what kind of damage is done to that, what all it's gonna take. I haven't really, uh, studied it I just got back with it and I didn't really look at it that close yet but uh try to get up in here I don't know how the lighting is going to show up but anyways I don't know how bad the spindles hurt if it is at all it doesn't really appear that it is unless it got the the seal surface back there I'm not sure it's definitely got to have some brakes. There's no brake pads left on it. Um, so that'll have to be addressed. Definitely can't be pulling it down the road with no, uh, no brakes. But yeah, it's, it's not bad overall. Uh, it's going to take, take some work to get it going. Um, I wish it had a toolbox up front, but it does not. Uh, just got a piece of expanded metal up there and the and the guy I bought it from said he actually put that up there um, To put chains and stuff in it does have a, uh, a chain rack here as you can see to hang and uh, whatnot and it has uh, It has some ratchets welded on ratchets on the side and uh, Just like a flat by flatbed does and so I just threw one of those straps across and uh, strapped the tires down. He had to throw it on top of it. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six ratchets on there. The tires, probably not in the best of shape, if I had to guess, but uh, I drug it home like this. And uh, I don't know, he just ran it till the wheels ran off and then uh, parked it in the yard, basically, is what happened. So this will be our uh, next project, I suppose. Try to get you a shot up under the bottom here, if I can. There's no uh, no rust or anything, and this trailer does have a torque tube. I don't know if you can see that or not. The front, that big piece of pipe, it goes all the way back there to the axles, uh, to the center of the axles, and that's what these. Uh, cross braces here for is that torque tube goes through them so it, it seems to be a decently built trailer 
As I say, I don't know what the deal is with these rubbing. I don't know if the springs have lost their arch or, uh, or what the deal is with that, but uh, that definitely does not look very appealing to me right there. So we'll be getting that corrected. But anyway, guys, it's hard for me to see out there in that uh, sun. I can't see what the camera, what I'm even filming is so bright out there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's just got the small ramps, as you see. It doesn't have wide ramps or anything like that. Uh, but I figured it would work, and uh, it needs a little work, kind of like most of the rest of the stuff I buy usually. So uh, I figured I would buy it and bring it home, and we will uh, fix it up. First thing it needs is a good steam cleaning to get all the uh, mold and mildew off of it. He had it sitting under some trees, but uh, he said uh, the wheels come off of it, the wheel bearings went out, and uh, he just parked it and kind of left it sitting there. And uh, I guess decided now that he wanted to get rid of it and he wasn't ever going to fix it after two or three years. And uh, so I bought it and I'm going to see what I can do with it. At least I'll have a trailer to uh, haul my tractor and stuff on. As you know, one of these trailers are around nine to ten thousand uh, dollars for just a basic trailer like that with electric brakes. Uh, if you spec them out with the hydraulic disc over hydraulics and everything, you get up fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars pretty easily. But uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, that's gonna be our next uh, project, I guess. I'm gonna get it uh, washed up with a steam cleaner and uh, I gotta figure out what I gotta have to repair that hub and then get that back on there. And I don't know, let's figure out the wiring and the lights and all that, you know, all old trailers, the lights ain't gonna work, especially if it's been on a farm. Uh, usually all that stuff gets tore out from under there, rats eat it and whatnot. And, uh, that's just how it is. So we'll have to do all that stuff and I'm sure it'll be a interesting and time consuming project. So anyway, I guess this is part one and uh, stay tuned for the next video on it. And we'll go from there and see what I got to come up with on that hub, whether it can just be bearings and races put in it or if it needs a hub or needs an axle or, or what, I'm, I'm really not sure. I don't think the axle's damaged too bad. Uh, not sure about the hub. As I say, I haven't really looked at it that close, but uh, anyway, we'll check that out in the next video and uh, see what we got to do to fix it. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.